Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we'll solve this question, lead code 498, diagonal traverse. This question is based on matrix and marked medium. Also, it is asked in almost all the TMN organizations. So this is going to be very important. Even in meta, it is asked more than 20 times in the last three months. So let's have a look on the problem statement. Given uh, M cross N matrix M80. So given a matrix M cross N size, matrix written written an array of all the elements of the array in the diagonal order okay so we are given a matrix and we have to return all the items of that matrix in a diagonal order in such a way as depicted in this diagram so this is a matrix given to us and we have to traverse over this matrix in such a way that first diagonal i'm traversing this order Second, I'm traversing in this order and third one I'm traversing in this order. Fourth one I'm traversing in this order. Fifth one I'm traversing in this order. So in this way, we have to iterate over this matrix and we have to store every single item in this array. One, two, four, seven, five, three and so on. This is something we have to return. And this array is something which is uh, going to be return from the problem set uh, solution function. Let's also have a look on the constraints. It's M cross N size grid and both the values will go till 10 power four. And this is the value, nothing serious. So this is our problem statement that given a M cross N matrix and we have to return the array of all the elements. We have to traverse over the matrix in such a way we are traversing diagonally left um, from left to top, then bottom, then top, like this. And whatever is going to be the array that we have to return. So this is our problem statement and how we are going to solve it. Let's say this is the matrix given to me. And it is already said in the problem statement that first diagonal is this much, this one in this order and second one in this order, third one in this order fourth one in this order fifth one in this order so how many diagonals do we have if i mark the indices it is something like zero one two zero one two so from every single row there is one diagonal going and from these are the rows three rows are there and from every single column base there is one diagonal going Note from the seven, seven is already included in the rows part. So there are three rows plus there are three minus one column. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm trying to see how many diagonals do we actually have. And that is something M number of rows plus N number of column M plus N minus one diagonals. So we are going to have M plus N minus one number of diagonals. <clears throat> okay. Let's say if I mark these diagonals with some values, let's say this is the zeroth diagonal. This is the first diagonal. This is the second diagonal. This is the third diagonal. This is the fourth diagonal. Okay. If let's say, see what is M plus N minus one? M is three N is three N minus one. So which is three plus two, that is five, five numbers of diagonals we have. If I'm marking those five values from zero to n, n minus one, I'm getting zero, one, two, three, four. Now I am seeing a, a pattern. What is that pattern? That is like every single item, every single item on the first diagonal having their I plus J equal to zero. And every single item on the second diagonal have their I coordinate plus J coordinate equal to the diagonal value. Let's say this is I or you can say row and this is J or column. So if I check I plus J value for every single item, let's say I'm checking that value for five. In this case, this five is giving one plus one row plus column. 
that is 2 and 5 is lying on second column right so this is something we need we need to identify there are so many problems on matrices even let's say uh, that n queen problem in backtracking there also you will encounter the similar pattern so it's like a standard one so every single diagonal every single diagonal value first angle is 0 second one is 1 2 3 4 so diagonal value let's say diagonal value is d so d is equal to the i plus j x value and y value row plus column so row plus column value is same for every diagonal and for every diagonal it is equal to this value so from 0 to 4 so now if i have to traverse this air uh, matrix in this order that first diagonal uh, this to this second diagonal from top to bottom in this order and third one diagonal like this fourth diagonal like this fifth diagonal like this i am also analyzing that c uh, 0 2 and 4 0 2 and 4 number diagonals are traversed in this direction and 1 3 1 and 3 number diagonals are traversed in this direction and i can also see that these diagonal numbers are even and these diagonal numbers are odd so it means we have to process every single diagonal and every diagonal i need to see whether it is an even number diagonal or odd number diagonal because according to that i will process it differently and it is also true that diagonal value whatever is the diagonal value that value is equal to row plus column so this equation is also true so using this equation i can traverse over this array now let's see how we are going to build our solution 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so first one is like this correct yes second one is like this third one is like this so first of all i have to iterate every single diagonal to iterate every diagonal i need to know how many diagonals do we have let's say uh, number of diagonal is equal to m plus n minus 1 m plus n minus 1 m plus n minus 1 okay and after that what are the diagonal numbers 0 1 2 3 4 so whatever is the number of diagonal so for, from 0 to number of diagonals exclusive inclusive these are the id for all the diagonals so for that i can directly use a for loop let's say uh, number d d is the pointer d is equal to 0 d less than number of diagonal and d plus plus so using d i can iterate over these diagonals using d and whenever i am um, iterating d the d value is equal to x plus y or you can say row plus column let me use x y here in this case let's say this is x and this is y x and y but i need to track even diagonals and odd diagonals differently so how do i get to know if d modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 let's say not equal to 0 or equal to equal to 0 d modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 it means it is an even number of diagonal if it is an even number of diagonal uh, let's say this one second one second one is going from this direction to this direction if it is even number diagonal i will do something else if it is odd number of diagonal i will process it differently even process this even diagonal odd process this odd diagonal in such a way and we already know that row plus column is something like this d equal to d okay so if i'm let's say if i'm processing this even diagonal and the value of d is this so here in this case d value is 2 it means sum of x plus y is equal to 2 
what are the valid values of x so here i am also seeing if it is a even form initially i am starting with bigger value of x so what can be the bigger value of x so i x will start from m minus 1 to 0 and what is y y is equal to d minus x correct so here in this case i can write for loop for x x is equal to m minus 1 x greater than or equal to 0 x minus 1 and against that x what is the value of y y is equal to diagonal value value minus x so in this way i will have x and y x and y just capture this value but before capturing we should also see that whether this x y is valid or not if x y are valid just capture them okay so here the idea that i'm getting is i am having first of all i am having m plus n minus one number of diagonals so i can start from zero of diagonal to whatever is the number of diagonals minus one so these are the range for every single diagonal and this range value is equal to x plus y row value plus column value so this is clear and even diagonals and odd diagonals should be processed in a different way even diagonals are going to have x value bigger first so here in this case let's say d is equal to 2 and x plus y is the value is equal to 2 so x can be m minus 1 which is 0 1 2 x can be 2 and y can be 0 and x can be 1 y can be 1 x can be 0 and y can be 2 so these are the value x value will value will go from bigger to 0 and the y value is corresponding to that equation okay so this is also one important thing apart from that where where i'm going to capture it number of diagonals iterating over the diagonals after that if the diagonal is even number or it is of odd number if it is even number will go from bottom left to top right it means starting with a bigger value of x and y value we already know x plus y is equal to d so if we have x and y just check whether the x and y are valid because why i'm checking this let's say this is the diagonal value 4 so diagonal value is 4 means x plus y is equal to 4 here in this case i cannot keep x equal to 0 this diagonal is also even number of diagonal here x value is starting from starting from what starting from 2 if it is 2 y is also 2 and we cannot reduce it further till 0 if we are reduce, reducing it if we are making it 1 it will become 3 which is invalid so if both the indices are valid only in that case i will move further okay and uh, where we where where are we going to capture it we have to capture it in an array we have to capture in an array and now what will be the size of that array how many elements do we have in this matrix the matrix have a size of m plus n it means m into n number of elements we are going to have in this array so this array is going to be of size m into n so that's all about this uh, question Let me give you a quick revision, otherwise directly uh, have a look on the code. One diagonal, second diagonal, third diagonal, fourth diagonal, fifth diagonal, zero, one, two, three, four. Total number of diagonals are matrix size, which is three cross three. So three plus three minus one from zero to this value both inclusive this is the number of diagonals or diagonal id and this diagonal id itself is equal to x plus y now what is x plus y for any coordinates this is x value and this is value y row value and column value so what we can do is we can check for every single diagonal but I need to make sure that even diagonal or odd diagonal should be processed in a different way. If it is an 
odd diagonal diagonal with id1 is an odd diagonal it is processed from top right to left bottom it means processed with smaller value of x so x plus y is equal to 1 in this case so try to keep x value smaller first smallest value can of x can be 0 to m minus 1 just check with that and uh, both x and y should be valid now if it is even if it is even, even means, uh, let's say this one. If it is even, 4 is even, correct? If 4 is even, then keeping x value bigger first. So, what is the bigger value of x? m minus 1 to 0. And check for the corresponding y. So, in this case, we are iterating over this matrix only one item at a time. And uh, one item at a time means total number of items are m plus m cross n. So the time complexity here it will be order of m into n. What about the space complexity? Just to store the answer, we require that array of size similar size. Otherwise, we are not taking any extra space. So it's totally up to you whether you are considering that in a space complexity or processing at the time of processing, we are not using an extra space. Now let's have a look on the code. This is the code that I wrote. Here, uh, I wanted to traverse it diagonally. So first of all, I captured how many diagonals we can have and what are what is going to be the size of the answer. That is like number of items in this matrix and pointer for that array. Now, traverse over each diagonal and every diagonal can even be uh, either be even or odd. If it is even, if the remainder with 2 is not equal to 0 that means it is odd odd diagonal and in odd diagonals my x value is starting from minimum value i have also kept this one just to avoid some time but uh, it is not going to make any impact then this is even diagonal in even diagonal i'm starting with a bigger value of x see bigger value of x will definitely be m minus 1 but in, in some cases, I can I can be more than that, right? Because I is a uh, like a diagonal ID. So I'm just comparing with the maximum value. So in this case, minimum value of X should be math dot, yeah, math dot minimum. Ma maximum value of X should be M minus one. And uh, in this case also, maximum value of X should be M minus one. So just uh, did some kind of pruning, but uh, no need to worry about that and I also wrote a valid function because I'm only going to capture if it is a valid and how do I check if it is a valid if it is within the boundaries within the boundaries of 0 to the rightmost or bottommost value and number of rows and number of columns so that's all about this matrix and uh, I hope you found it easy to understand and still if you have any doubt uh, go check out the uh, section again where I have discussed how many number of diagonals we have and what is this odd diagonal, even diagonal and how do we process them and why uh, this condition is, how this condition is true. Just do a couple of dry run you will realize that. Then row value plus column value is equal to diagonal value. Okay, I hope you understood the code. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. In case you have any doubt, do let me know in the comment section below.